Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, spin up an EC2 instance in AWS using Terraform. Okay, so I'll just list, list out the steps that we need to follow to spin up an EC2 instance in AWS. Okay, so the first step is obviously we need to create an AWS account. So if you don't have an AWS account, you can create one. Uh, you can create a free Terra account if you want. Okay, so after creating an AWS account, we need to create an uh, IAM admin user in AWS. Okay. So after that, we will author the Terraform file, like the .tf file to spin up an EC2 instance in our AWS. Okay. So once we have finished authoring that file, we will run Terraform apply. So after running the Terraform apply, the EC2 instance will be created in the AWS account. Okay. So I have already created my AWS account. I'll just go to my AWS account and show you how to create an IAM admin user. Okay. Uh, I am in my AWS management console. In AWS Management Console, you can search for IAM here. Uh, uh, since I've already opened that IAM recently, it's happening here. Okay, so you can open the IAM Management Console. Okay, uh, this is my IAM console. <coughs> In the IAM console, click on Users here, and click on Add User here. Okay, username, I'm gonna give something like uh, Terraform user. Okay, so for this, uh, I don't need AWS Management Console access I, because I'm just going to access uh, AWS from API. So I'll select this programmatic access and click on next here. Yeah. So here we will add this uh, user to a group. Uh, okay, we will create a new group called a Terraform admin group and we will add that uh, user to the group. Here, uh, group name I'm going to call uh, Terraform admins group. Okay, and I'm going to give the administrator access to that group. So I've done that. Click on create group here. Okay, so now the Terraform admins group is created with the administrator access. So this user will be added to this Terraform admins group. So check this box and click on next. Okay. This tags is optional. Click on review here. Yeah. Okay. And everything is fine. Click on create user. Okay. So once the user is created, you should be able to see something like this. So this access key ID and secret access key are very important because we are going to need these credentials while we are uh, we're trying to spin up an EC2 instance from Terraform. Okay, so you can basically download this CSV file here. This will contain the access key ID and the secret access key for this Terraform user. Uh, please make sure you download this and uh, okay, uh, and save it in your local machine. Uh, we'll use this later in our Terraform file. Okay, so once you are done with creating this IAM user, we'll go back to Terraform and start uh, authoring our Terraform file to create an EC2 instance. Okay, so I have opened my command prompt. I'll create a new directory called uh, Terraform course directory. Okay, and I'm gonna cd into that directory. Okay, so uh, this is my project directory. Uh, I'll create a file called instance.tf or whatever you, uh, you can name it in this uh, directory, which will uh, define how the my EC2 instance needs to be created. Okay, so I have opened this directory in my editor. I'll create a new file in this directory. Okay, and I'll name this file as uh, instance.tf because I'm gonna author my EC2 instance dot tf okay you can name it whatever you want basically so here we will start defining how our ec2 instance needs to be created okay so this is the syntax i mean this is how we define uh, how to create an ec2 instance uh, in aws so first thing we need to specify the provider here so our provider is aws so when we run terraform in it uh, the terraform will download all the required plugins for this uh, provider so access key and secret key are the ones you uh, will get when you created the IAM user like I already showed earlier. Okay, so this is the access key ID and secret access key. You need to just copy this and paste it uh, in your code. Okay, so this is the region uh, in which you want to spin up your EC2 instance. 
so i am going to spin up in uh, us is to region so you can specify whatever region uh, you want to spin up your ec2 instance so the resource type so this is the resource type and this is the uh, uh, name of the resource that you want to create okay i'll uh, name it something like uh, terraform example or something okay okay so it will create an uh, aws instance with this name okay so this is the ami ami is the instance uh, amazon machine image id that you want to specify here so basically you can get this image id from um, you know aws marketplace okay so i am going to create this free tier so if you are using free tier make sure that you uh, select this free tier only so it will list out all the free tier eligible ec2 instances so i am going to take this ami okay uh make sure that you spin up a t2 micro instance only otherwise you are going to end up uh, paying money for the instance okay so i'm going to paste this uh, ami here so instance type is t2 micro so if you are on free tier you make sure that you specify only uh, instance of micro type because otherwise you are going to end up paying money so here don't forget to uh, mention your access key and secret key here okay so once you are done that with that please save the file okay so i have saved my uh, terraform dot tf file in resource dot tf file now so once you have saved that resource file you need to run the terraform init command okay so if you see now it is uh, initializing the provider plugins so we have since we had specified the aws uh, as our provider it is downloading all the required pl plugins for that provider okay so uh, let's wait for this to get completed okay uh, so now the terraform init command is successful and if you see here it is telling me that terraform has been successfully initialized so all the plugins that are needed for aws provider have been installed on my machine so now the next thing we need to do is we need to run the terraform plan okay so the terraform plan will show you what what is the plan i mean that is it's going to execute okay so if you see now it is uh, showing me the a plan that it is going to execute it is telling me that a new resource aws instance with this example and this ami so th these parameters will be created so this is the terraform plan so before you apply terraform uh, terraform apply you can uh, run this terraform plan to see what is the plan that is going to be executed and if you want to change something uh, you can go back and uh, always change that okay so now if i run terraform apply this instance will get a spin up so before i do that i'm going to go to my ec2 console and show you the uh, ec2 instance that are already up Okay, so if you see now there is uh, no running EC2 instance in my uh, AWS account. So now I'm going to run the Terraform apply and see if the instance gets uh, created here. Okay, so now I'm going to run the Terraform apply command. And we'll wait for it to get executed. So now uh, it is asking me if I want to uh, perform these actions. So I'll just type in... Uh, yes here and click enter okay so now if you see it is uh, state state is that it is creating so is AWS instance dot terraform example is uh, getting created now okay so it will keep on refreshing the state till it's get created so if you see now uh, after 10 seconds it again printed out uh, stating that it is still creating now if i go to my uh, ec2 console you will see that ec2 instance will be uh, getting spinned up okay so in my ec2 install uh, console i am going to click refresh here and see oh okay if you see now this ec2 instance got uh, initialized in my aws account and it is uh, still in the initializing state so now if you don't want to uh, keep this instance running if you want to uh, basically uh, destroy this cluster we have a command in terraform for that too Okay. but uh, we'll wait for this to get uh, initialized and uh, no, it is, uh, till it is up and running after that we will run the terraform destroy command and uh, kill this instance okay so now my ec2 instance is successfully created and it is running in my account so now i want to destroy that ec2 instance so i'll just uh, so basically i don't want the ec2 instance to keep running so i'll just run this terraform destroy command Okay, so if you see now, uh, it is destroying this EC2 instance. Uh, it is refreshing the state basically. So now, if you go to the EC2 instance, uh, EC2 console, you can see that the instance will be uh, in a state of uh, keep destroyed. Okay, so now if you see this, uh, it destroyed the EC2 instance basically. 
So it is just asking me to uh, confirm if I want to delete this. I'll just uh, write enter and delete enter yes and click on enter. So if you see now this is uh, destroying the EC2 instance. Okay, so it will keep refreshing the state every 10 seconds and it will print out that it is successfully destroyed once it is done. Okay, so if you see now after 10 seconds, it's again uh, printing out that it is still destroying. So we will wait for it to complete. Okay, so if you see now it is printing out that uh, destroy is complete. We will go to the EC2 console and check if the EC2 instance is uh, you know, killed. Okay, I'll refresh this page. So if you see this, the EC2 instance is now terminated after applying the Terraform destroy. Okay, so this is how uh, you uh, set up your Terraform with AWS and you know uh, spin up an EC2 instance or uh, kill an EC2 instance that is already running. So hope you hope this video helped you to understand how to set, uh, you know uh, perform some basic operations in Terraform with AWS like spinning up an instance. If you like the video, please uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.